Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number six in the series of ten on the topic of exponents. And today is our day number 136. Problem for today is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told that we have a certain country with a GDP of 1.8 times 10 raised to 12 dollars. We are further told that the population of the country is 360 million. The question simply is, what is the per capita income of the country? Per capita income means income per person. Per capita income means we divide, we take the, we take the GDP and we divide by the population. I'm going to give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. I would like you to try this problem yourself first. Once you have done so, then we'll resume the video and then we'll do it together in a few seconds time. Here are the answer choices, 500, 1000, 2000, 3000 and 5000. I'll give you five seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video. Well, let's get going. So we have to divide the GDP, which is 1.8 times 10 raised to 12 by 360 million. Right now we won't worry about 360 million. Let's just concentrate on this part. 1.8, 1.8, 10 raised to 12 can be written as 10 raised to 6 times 10 raised to 6. Divided by 360 million, which is 10, 360 times 10 raised to 6. That's what that is. 10 raised to 6 is a million. Again, you do not, if you, if you have trouble understanding these concepts, if you have trouble understanding this concept, watch day number 22, we covered this topic millions, billions and trillions on day 22. Today is our lesson number 136. On day number 22, we talked about millions and billions and trillions. A million is 10 raised to 6. So here we have 10 raised to 6 on the top, we have 10 raised to 6 on the bottom. We can divide the top and the bottom by 1 million and we can get rid of this 10 raised to 6. Now we have to contend with 1.6 divided by 360. As you can see, it's, very, it's a nuisance to, to try to divide 1.8 by 360, let's, let's make this 1.8 into some multiple of 360. The way we're going to do that is 1.8, this 10 raised to 6 that you see there, we're going to write that as 1.8 times 10 raised to 3 times 10 raised to 3. Remember on the bottom we still have 360. 10 raised to 3 is 1000. 10 raised to 3 is 1000. So we can write this, so this part, 10 raised to 6 is already gone. So I'm going to erase this thing, that, that is already gone, it's all gone. 10 raised to 6 is we can write this as 10 raised to 3 times 10 raised to 3, which is right here. 10 raised to 3 times 10 raised to 3, which can be written as 1000 times 1000. That's your 10 raised to 6. Are you with me? Let's continue. So if you have 1.8 times 1000, that's 1800 times 1000 times divided by 360. What do we do next? Well, the rest is very simple. The rest is very simple, what we have to understand here, I'm going to do it on the, on the bar here, what we have to understand here is that this 360 that you see there, 360 times 10 is 3600. 360 times 10 is 3600, therefore 360 times, 360 times 5 would be half of that. Would be half of that, half of 36 is 18. In other words, what I'm trying to make you understand is that 1800 is 5 times 360. 1800 is 5 times 360. So we can divide top and bottom by 360 and it becomes 5. Voila! 5 times 1000. The per capita GDP in this country is 5 times 1000. The answer is 5000. In other words, try to, do, try to do the problem in as few steps as possible. That's all there is. I'm going to erase this top here. I want to do this one more time without the explanation. See how it goes. Let's do it one more time. And this time, without too much explanation. Okay, watch what happens. So we have 1.8 times 10 raised to 12 over 360 million, which is same as 1.8 times 10 raised to 6 times 10 raised to 6 over 360 times 10 raised to 6. 10 raised to 6 drops out. This 10 raised to 6 here, we're going to write this as 1.8 times 10 raised to 3 times 10 raised to 3 over 360. 1.8 times 1000 is 1800 times 10 raised to 3 over 
360. But 360 times 10 is 3600. If 3600 is 10 times the amount, 1800, which is half of 36, got to be 5 times the amount. So 36, 360 divided, well, 1800 divided by 360 is 5. So 5 times 1000. Let's do one more problem, shall we? Let's do one more. We are told that on a certain highway, on a certain highway, listen, I'm not going to write down all the nitty gritty, I'm just going to speak most of the stuff. On a certain highway, on average, there are for every, for every 100 million miles traveled, on average, there are Eighty-five accidents. I'm just being lazy here. I'm not writing it everything down. In the in the real exam, they're going to give you in a little bit more elaborate, a little bit more formal way that on average, on a, on on this on this highway, for every hundred million miles that that is traveled on the highway, on average there are eighty-five accidents. Eighty-five vehicles are involved in accidents in a given year. Question simply is if five billion miles were traveled. How many accidents? If 5 billion miles were traveled on the highway, the question is, how many vehicles do we expect to be involved in the accidents? And here are the answer choices. 170, 425, 1770, 4250, and finally, 17,700. I'm going to get out of your way again one more time. I want you to be able to. I want you to pause the video. I'm going to give you five seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do it yourself first. All right. Well, this is actually a pretty straightforward problem because we are told that 100 million miles that we travel, for every 100 million miles that we travel, we have 85 accidents. Well, if that's true, then if you were to travel 10 times the amount of time, if you were to travel 10 times the amount, we'll have, we would expect to have 10 times as many accidents. 10 times 100 million is a thousand million, is a thousand million, which is just one billion. So one billion will produce 10 times the amount, which is 850. Because one billion is a thousand million, which is ten times hundred billion. So one billion will produce eight fifty. We don't have one billion. We have five billion. So we just have to multiply it by five. Multiply both sides by five. That's it. We're done. The answer is eight hundred and fifty times five. I don't know what eight hundred and fifty by times five is, but we know that one thousand times five, one thousand times five would have been five thousand. Therefore, 850 times 5 has got to be something less than 5,000, little less than 5,000. The only answer choice that we see that is little less than 5,000 is B right here. Well, obviously, it's not 1,700. It's too small. We're looking for a little under 5,000, 4,200. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.